We'll guide you through how to download and install NeoForge in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you'll need to quit off Minecraft. NeoForge is a mod launcher for Minecraft. So to go and get it, you need to go and open up a web browser. Now, just before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. You can make a Minecraft server super easily and start playing with friends online. They've also got one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, and many other things as well. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and in the comments, which you can click on and get taken right here. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice as well. So come and check them out. But to continue with the guide, first of all, we need to go and get NeoForge. So go and type it in like so, and come to the site neoforge.net. On the home page here, you'll go and see the latest installer, or you can click on for other versions and click here to go to the version list. Now it's important to note that you probably want to get the version for the mods you want. So you should probably go and see what version the mod is in that you want. If you aren't worried though, just go and get the latest version. Personally, I'm going to get 1.20.5 and I'll click on the download button. Now let's go and get the mods we want. There are many places you can get mods from. Personally, I like to go and use Curse Forge. They've just got a load of mods there. And then once we're here, we can click on Minecraft, click on categories and select mods. Then what we can do is scroll down on the left, select NeoForge, and we can then scroll through here and see all of these different mods. So when you see a mod you want, for example, I'll get the Nature's Compass mod, go and click on it. Now what's super important is that you come into files and in here, you're gonna see a lot of different things really, but the main things we need to look for are mod loaders and game version. So of course the mod loader needs to be NeoForge and the game version needs to be for the version that we got NeoForge in. So in this case, we've got it in 1.20.5. So I need to go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. So make sure those factors align. Now that we've done that, we can come out of our web browser and you can open up your file explorer and come into your downloads. Now just go and drag out the mods and NeoForge that you got and drag them onto your desktop. Now what we need to do is go and install NeoForge. So double click on it like so, and you should then go and get the NeoForge installer. If you don't, maybe nothing happens or something else opens up. This is because you don't have Java installed. So then what that means that you need to go to your web browser and you can go and search for Java or go straight to java.com. You can then click on download Java and download Java again. It will go and download and you can then go and install it. Once you've done that, right click on NeoForge, go and click on or hover over open with and click on choose another app. And you can then go and find Java, click on always, and it should open. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix and that should fix it. Once it's open though, select install clients and click on proceed and it will go and install. Once it's finished, you'll go and get a completion pop-up and press okay. Now you need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher, come over to the left and select Java edition and go to the top and click on installations. Then all you need to do is go and scroll down until you can go and see NeoForge just here, hover over it and click on the file or folder icon over to the right. The .minecraft folder will open up and then what you can do is go and scroll down like so until you see the mods folder. Go into here like so and then add the mods you just got installed. So all I'm gonna do is go and drag it in like so. If you've got mods for other versions of Minecraft and mod loaders, just remove them. Otherwise it's just gonna cause sort of incompatibility issues and then they crash. Now, once you've done that, come back and click on play. And to the left of the play button at the bottom here, you want to go and click on NeoForge and press play again. Now it should go and launch. Now here we are. And if we go and click on mods, you'll go and see we've got nature's compass here, which is what we installed. It's that simple. And now we can go and get into a world and I'll go and show you what it is. If I open up my inventory and click on search, I'll then go and search for nature's compass or just compass and there it is. And so that's it guys. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you need a Minecraft server, go and check out Apex.